thank you. Now we've got a very special treat for you. Please go cock a hoop for the finalists from last choir standing. There from Last Cry Standing. I'm now joined by the hostess with the hostess of that show, Miley Klaus. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you okay. must be so proud. I'm really proud. I'm a bit like Mother Hen at the moment because I've been, I've been with these guys for months now and they did a phenomenal job. If you think about it, those are amateur choirs and here they are performing to 40,000 people live and obviously millions as well at home. It's incredible. Did you ever think it was going to be such a success when they said, Oi, Moylene, we're going to get people <laughs> standing in a row and they're going to be singing in unison? Did you just go, yeah, all right? I know a lot of people probably thought, oh God, it's going to be, you know, choir boys in cassocks. Is it going to be the old fashioned version of choirs? But this is, well, I think this proves that it's nothing like that at all. You've been in many choirs yourself, haven't you? So you know how difficult it is for them all to sort of keep together. It's about teamwork and all of that, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's about teamwork, but also the camaraderie. You get to have a good old gossip with uh, the rest of the choir afterwards as well. So it's about the sense of community as much as it is about the singing. But music is phenomenal. It gives you the idea of discipline and working as a team, very much like sport. At the same time, the enjoyment factor is just, you know, it's, it's right up there. How are you enjoying this party so far? I saw you earlier with, I have to say, one of the prettiest babies I've ever seen. I apologise oh. for licking her. I, sh I probably shouldn't. 
shouldn't have done that. It's but fine, <laughs> I totally understand. I do it every day. Um, no, it's, it's a brilliant party. Everyone's in great spirits, the sun's shining. There's amazing athletes walking around here showing the medals off. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's pretty fantastic. I mean, it's great to be able to show the world what London's got to offer. How excited were you watching the games? Did you watch a lot of them or? I love the games. I love just to see how hard people can work and how far they can push themselves and, and then see the results of all that hard work. It, it's, and obviously Britain's done fantastically. What was your particularly favourite moment? Did you love the cycling? Because Bradley Wiggins is here. Oh, and he's been playing just... with the baby. Everyone's just grabbing the baby. But yes, the cycling was pretty fantastic, no doubt about it. And we've all got so much to be proud of with our, our sportsmen and women. OK, well, thank you so much. Last choir standing, final, next Saturday yeah, night. Six o'clock, enjoy. I mean, that was the Uber choir, but there are three choirs going for the title. So here we go. How terrified are they? They're about pretty petrified. And do they come to you? Do they go, Mylene, help us? Well, I've been there. I've been on both sides of the fence, if you like. And, uh, yeah, it is pretty terrifying for them. But at the same time, I said, you prove so much. You've got a gospel choir, a kids' choir, and an all-men's choir up there. They prove what they've got to prove. So, and look, they're, they're performing already in public as professionals. They're going to go all the way. How difficult is it for you not to have a favourite? <laughs> It's really hard because they all bring their mums with them and I'm a sucker for that and I love hearing the backstories and getting to know their families as well. So I have an impartial face. Okay, good, good. I'll try and do that. Thank you very it much. Works. Matt.